Hi, Ron with Adams Arms. Today we'd like to take you through two operating systems of the AR-15 through thermal imaging technology. We're going to show you the piston-driven system and we're going to show you a direct gas impingement system. We think you'll be interested in the results. Why don't you come along and we'll show you. First up is 30 rounds through a standard mil-spec direct impingement rifle. We won't call them out by name, but you can read that M&P logo on the side. You'll notice that as the rifle begins to fire rounds, the barrel starts to heat. Then as the gas escapes down the barrel, it vents up into the gas block and then down the gas tube, ending in the chamber. You'll notice that the chamber in the upper receiver is getting hotter and glowing red. That's all of that dirty carbon that you have to clean being deposited in the chamber and in your bolt carrier. Now let's take a look at how our Adams Arms piston rifle behaves during the same 30 round test. Just like the DI rifle, as rounds make their way down the barrel, the barrel heats up and the gas moves into our piston block. Unlike the DI rifle, you'll notice that our drive rod does not heat up like the gas tube did previously. And most importantly, you'll notice that the bolt carrier and chamber do not heat up like they did in the DI rifle. That's due to the lack of carbon and other gases in the chamber. That means our piston rifle would have less buildup to clean later. Most importantly though, this means that due to the lack of carbon fouling occurring in the chamber and bolt carrier, the piston rifle will run more reliably and with less maintenance. Guys, that does it for this episode of Adam's Arms Piston vs. DI. We hope you got a lot out of that video. Again, remember to like and subscribe. Go to our website, www.adamsarms.net, or you can follow that link below. And at the end of the day, if you have a DI gun and you really want a piston rifle, you can convert using our patented retrofit kits. At Adams Arms, we don't compromise. You shouldn't have to either. Thanks for watching.